Hey, good morning. It's that time. So how are you? What are you up to? Happy Friday Eve. I like saying Friday Eve, even though it's Thursday, because then I can at least say Friday and other weekends right there. So I was reading some articles last night and um, Inman uh, recently had a Connect conference. Um, actually, it was viral or viral. It was virtual. It was actually really good. But they came up with seven emerging trends in our real estate market. And I thought I'd share some of those. If you'd like the article, please reach out to me and I can go ahead and send it to you. But one of the first trends they talked about was pricing reorganization, pricing reorganization. All that really means is watching what's going on with the pricing in our market, taking a look at the inventory. Most of our markets around the Jacksonville metro area are fairly tight on inventory. As of this morning, we were, I think, 6,100 plus or minus a few listings, which is really about 800 lower than where we usually are. Actually, that's even low. So our market still in most pockets is pretty tight on inventory, but the pricing has remained flat. So we don't see a lot of price increasing, uh, but we still see a lot of demand. So our consumers are obviously being very wise. So watching that or thinking about that trend, how that's gonna progress is gonna be important as you target markets in your business plan for 2021. Another emerging trend that they mentioned uh, was the re-suburbanization, <laughs> re-suburbanization. Uh, what they're talking about there is people moving out of the urban core. Now, that comes about for many reasons. They're moving out of the urban core to get more for their money. They're moving out of the urban core because they're combining households. In other words, maybe kids are still living at home. They need more space. Another big one in our new normal is that they're re-suburbanizing, in other words, moving out of the urban core to find larger homes because they now work from home or will be working from home part-time. So re-suburbanization, kind of the move out of the urban core, uh, we're seeing that in a lot. The McMansions may be coming back a little bit, so that was one of the, th the trends in these um, elements that they were talking about. So that's pricing, resuburbanization. Uh, the third one was moving from apartments to homes. Millennials have traditionally been focused on apartments. And what we found is that with the millennial staying and working from home, there's a greater interest in purchasing a home. So moving from apartments to homes and then right sizing. Well, with families, you never know, right sizing could be sizing up. In other words, growing the size of the house because now the processes have changed. In other words, now people are working from home a little bit more or kids are studying from home a little bit more. So possibly moving up as a right size or even moving down as a right size. Right sizing is really a, a key topic for 2021. Uh, the next one is the low interest rates. I mean, we have some of the lowest interest rates now and they're projected to move through into 2021, even down to 2.5%. So there's a great opportunity for people to buy. It's a really great option or opportunity for people to buy. And then real estate mergers. Real estate mergers seems to be an emerging trend. Of course, some of the smaller brokerages may have had some difficulty during the shutdowns, so or the stay at home orders. So they may be reevaluating and we're seeing some mergers in real estate organizations or real estate companies. So look for that. That is one of those things that uh, is going to impact your competition in your marketplace, how your competition looks, and what the benefits you are going to be able to identify over your competition that may vary slightly. And then the last one was the business cash flow. I think we're all looking at that. We need to look at it for our own personal business. We're looking at it for our company. So look at it for your own personal business. Look at the cash flow. Are there places that you can cut just a little bit that's not going to impact your ability to reach out to your consumer base, develop your listings, um, keep a plan for your buyers? So the seven trends that really came out of the Inman Connect uh, conference. One, the pricing. Watch the pricing in your marketplace. Be aware of it. Be aware of the inventory. Great places to look for that. Those numbers are right in MLS. The second one is resuburbanization, people potentially moving out of the urban core. Um, the historic areas are probably gonna do really well with that, people moving out of the urban core because they're still close enough. 
but we're also going to see that trend in a lot of other areas, uh, the growth trend. We're, we've already started seeing it. Um, and then the third thing was the apartments to homes, the mindset of people in the apartment not having enough space or wanting to have more space or wanting to have work at home space or just wanting more space. And the millennials are key in that apartment to home shift. So if you're a millennial, think about all the people around you. The fourth one, again, the right sizing, sizing up or sizing down based on space. Fifth one, low interest rates. Um, sixth, the, re the real estate mergers. And then seven uh, would be the business cash flow, watching your business cash flow. Think about those things. Uh, if you need to reach out to me or you'd like a copy of the article, uh, you can reach me at 904-537-6149 or at cleblonde at cbvfl.com. I hope you have a fantastic Thursday and we're coming on to that real estate weekend. Take care.